Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Superset Tutorial. So today we are going to talk to you about uh, how to customize the login screen. So one of the comment I received on one of the video, um, so users know how to customize uh, dashboard using CSS and custom templates, uh, but they struggle with uh, but they struggle with uh, how to customize the welcome screen or the login screen. So I have created a very detailed tutorial which you can find on madrid.com. Uh, that's one of the website uh, we have created for all the tutorials and I encourage uh, all of you to to uh, visit it. So it's, uh, it's very simple, straightforward uh, tutorial. So we'll just quickly walk you through. Uh, so one, one recommendation I have uh, for you before you start, um, so because I've tested this on 5.00, by default, you should have, if you're running this in Docker, you should have four point uh, something in your uh, superset. I recommend you to uh, upgrade it to uh, 5.0 and zero. Uh, this is very simple. Um, upgrade what you need to do is you need to uh, change your docker file and uh, rerun uh, the docker compose uh, this is the directory uh, you should have this is your base uh, folder superset in which you should have a docker file docker compose and then the folder called uh, python path in which you should have superset config.py then i suggest create a folder branding and then another folder override we'll discuss uh, each one of them in detail this is uh, this is the folder structure i have you can see docker compose and superset and docker file branding python path by and then override uh, this is your docker compose and docker file which is two critical files um, you need to change so let me open it so what you need to do is so by default uh, if you are on 5.0.0 uh, or if you are on 4. Point, you know um, 1 2 whatever version you have uh, under 4 uh, you will be missing certain drivers uh, so if you are on uh, postgres or uh, any other uh, database you're using you need to install the drivers uh, this is the code you can you, you can copy paste uh, the script from here for example this is the docker file script to uh, install the drivers and this is the compose file so if i go to the folder this is my folder i forget about the branding for the time being an override and uh, this is my do docker compose file and the, the, the thing which is important is it's very similar to what we have used in uh, previous tutorials the, the important thing is here the image so my superset version is five uh, i've commented um, two lines here which i'll discuss later uh, and then you should have a docker file just make sure your docker file you create in uh, instead of in a text editor you should use uh, uh, the vvs code or any other you know editor you use so just copy paste uh, the code here the code is already on the website uh, and what we're doing is basically we're running um, two commands and both are to install the database drivers uh, and once you copy the docker file and uh, the docker compose you just need to go into the folder and uh, uh, build and start so these, these are the three commands you need to use docker, docker compose down to remove any orphans uh, then docker compose build and then docker compose up uh, dash t force recreate so this will remove all the existing uh, orphans and cache and then recreate and you can verify uh, you can verify uh, if the, 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 the drivers are installed or not so this is uh, I, I won't uh, I won't run this because I've already upgraded to uh, I've already upgraded to uh, the version here five so this is for this is my current login screen as you can see this is default this is stock so if I log in here uh, if I go to setting you can see 
here so let me zoom a little bit so you can see here the version is 5.0.0 so you should have that right so let me log out for the time being um so if you go back to your folder again so in your branding um just i have two logos so one is uh, white and other is black so logo.png and logo dash white png and then i have this background uh, image so this is my background image as you can see here so what we're going to do we're going to change the background we're going to update the logo uh, so that should be your, in your uh, branding uh, and then okay um, as you can see i already have a logo here um, and that logo is being picked from if you go to superset.config.py uh, uh, you can see here here this so this is my branding right so you can copy the config file also from the website so name is Budrick lab and then um, app icon is picking up from static assets branding logo.png this is width etc and this is favicon and everything else um, so so um, this is the config code superset uh, config.py so you can copy paste it's exactly the code from here you can change um, anything for example you can change the size you can change the name um, and then just restart and you should have the logo you should have the logo here appearing on the top left corner and that logo is standard so if you go for example in you log in you should have a logo here and, and you we, there's already a tutorial how to customize the dashboards and um how to for example this dashboard here if i click add it and here and css and load template so you know you can you can you can choose different templates so this is i mean this is already a very detailed tutorial how to do it so we won't be covering this in today's um, video so next thing what we're going to do is um, if i go back to here so next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy uh, the login template so the, the login template is already there in um, uh, within the superset um, app so you can copy this um, code from here and run into your um, i already done this so i'm not going to repeat it so you just copy uh, make directives uh, you can do it manually or you know you can use this command to create directories and then copy both of these what it'll do is basically it will copy and create two files uh, from the superset folder to override folder so if i go to override here so you can see i have two files so login uh, db and login oauth uh, we're gonna work on login db so it's the same it's gonna be the same process for login oauth and uh, once you've done it the next thing you need to do is you need to mount both uh, the template uh, and override it so what i'll do is go here into your compose copy both um, code from here uh, so copy sorry there you go so copy this from here and paste into your compose file uh, right beneath um, the currently mounted volumes so currently we have super home python path and then branding and then we're just going to mount these two so if i uncomment this uh, here you go and save close and then if you go to your override folder and you should already have login uh, db so this is uh, so this is um, i've customized it for my uh, superset so you can so this is a style so this is critical so this is a style where you can do the css and everything so for example we're changing the colors uh, brand text 
and card and then here you can see we are using a uh, background login background J jpeg jpg <coughs> jpg and then here if you scroll down we are using um, here you go so we're using white logo here and 220px and the width is 680px you can increase or decrease here we are using a uh, brand title so um, and the style for brand title and subtitle and then you know so the styling and then underneath we were doing we were changing um, uh, we're changing if you want to change the text for enter your login and password below you can change the text here um, so you can you can play around with it and you can see what I wanted to show you was uh, so this is title yeah, so here's his, uh, uh, the title is Mobric Lab Dashboards and Secure Analytics, one place for answers. So again, it's, the code, code is already there, so you can um, copy paste. So uh, here you go. So this is the login DB uh, CSS plus markup. This is the complete code of the file. You can copy paste and then play around with it. You can change a few things. Uh, and once you're done, we just need to um, clear the uh, cache by using this command. And then what we're going to do is we're going to recreate. Um, and you can run this command to check if Jinja is loading or not. Uh, so I'm gonna, just going to go here. And so what we're doing is basically, if you, I'm, I'm sure you can read or not, we're using superset docker compose up the force recreate and removing all the cache. So these, these are the two commands we're using. Uh, if I run, it's just gonna take a uh, few seconds. So it's recreated. Um, if I go to my Docker container here, so I can see Superset and Postgres both are running is a good sign so hopefully we should have so this is the current screen you can see if i refresh it yes here you go bingo so we have the background is changed this is the title this is a subtitle this is a login you can, you can play around with everything you know you can change the logo background whatever you want so here you go admin admin here you go so it was very quick um, and easy log out so I thought I'll just create a quick video to uh, show you so then some common pitfalls and fixes so uh, if you get this no module name error that means the driver is missing so you need to reinstall the driver um, use the docker file um, you know a few other static files we're missing so it's very simple tutorial it's very easy to follow uh, uh, i did explain what quite detail in, in in the website on this page i'll copy this page on um, on the video uh, link for the for the links you can copy paste everything it's very self-explanatory but do let me know if you have any comments while you're here, I just want to introduce the Modric Lab. Uh, so uh, the purpose here is to basically, uh, you know, do the video tutorials, but also post step-by-step -step, uh, very layman style instructions here. So currently we have around five tutorials here. This one is um, using Python to fetch the nav data. Um, this is explaining the APIs and what are the different APIs? Uh, and we can do the Trojan REST and Fast API if you want. This is the, we just covered this login page. Uh, this is someone asked me question on how to do use load the examples in the superset and um, how to use custom CSS. So I just made a page here. And then we have a very detailed guide about Yahoo Finance in Python. So in this, I mean, if you follow this tutorial, you can fetch the 
the latest price of stock, uh, historical uh, prices, dividend, asset profiles, and everything. So it's very, very detailed tutorial. So that's it. Um, there was the tutorial, and this is um, there was a brief about uh, Murdoch Lab. And I hope uh, you have enjoyed the video, and uh, that was a useful, useful tutorial. And hopefully, you'll find uh, this website also uh, useful. So happy dashboarding, and uh, enjoy your day, and look after people around you. Thank you very much. Good day. Bye.